Last season on Juliana and Bill. The doctor said, I'm sorry, you have breast cancer. And the second I heard cancer, I was just like dropping, falling. Now instead of radiation, I'm going to go ahead and move forward with a double mastectomy. The question is, what do we do now about trying to have a baby? Someone else could carry the pregnancy. We call them gestational carriers. She's carrying a baby. Oh my God, we're so happy. Thank you so yeah. much. Do you guys want to know if it's a boy or a girl? Yeah. Yeah. It's a boy. It's so Welcome to Parenthood 101, baby. I counted down the second until I went back to work. See, I'm dreading going Are back Are you? To I just don't want to miss anything. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, may this home bring us good memories, whether we're here for a long time or a short time. <laughs> On this episode of Juliana and Bill. Are you guys thinking about having another kid? What about you guys? We've got a lot of negotiating to do before that even happens. There's a house going to go on the market next week. Wow, this is great. You buy it or you lose it. Bill said, no more kids until we move to Chicago permanently. And you don't want to wait five or six years to have another baby. The house is great. It's a place where we could grow old together. So you're asking me to move to Chicago permanently. Okay. Let's walk to mommy. Hi, McGee. You're the first three-month-old baby to walk. <laughs> okay, he's picking up his own legs. Look at this. I'm not doing it. No way. I swear. He's only, what, 15 weeks? Good job. Yeah. The last few months have been amazing as we've been getting Duke settled into his new home in LA. It's been the best time of our lives. It's been a little crazy because our baby nurse Phyllis moved on to another family, and I'm not gonna lie, we're definitely sleep deprived. Not enough hours in the day, honey. True. Oh, he did it again. I cannot catch him sucking his thumb. Oh, I got him, I got him. Finally, this kid is like a ninja. Being new parents has been a whirlwind, and we're just trying to keep up and really enjoy these moments we have with Duke. And document it. Oh, interesting. Actually, history probably will not remember me since I am not in any of the videos because someone here has not learned how to share the baby. Yeah. Okay, it's exactly 30 seconds after he received his first vaccinations, one there and one there. And he's totally fine. <laughs> Seal Team Six, here he comes. This kid is a tough soldier, just like his daddy. Yeah. You feed him and he's happy. What is? Oh my God. Whoa. What's that all about? Can you believe he's doing that? He's never done that before. What's wrong, Boogie? I love you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. The only problem is we haven't quite slowed down as much as we thought we were going to now that Duke is in our lives. Yeah, not so much of anything. It feels like we're busier than ever. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to E! News, where we continue to pull back the curtain on Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. Okay, so we, we need to work on this kitchen layout. All right, so my first question, who's getting up at night for those overnight feedings? Keep smiling, girls, keep smiling. We are fortunate enough to have Bill Rancic as our speaker tonight. Great. Our next guest can only be described as one of America's power couples. And by the look of things, life's not about to slow down anytime soon. Thanks for coming today. your turn. No, it's not. It's your turn. <laughs> That's not my turn. Bill, I went before. No, you didn't. 
before as in yesterday. I've gone for the last three days. The sound that sleeping parents never want to hear. But you know what? Luckily, it's Bill's turn to wake up with the baby at three in the morning. Not even close to Pandy. You sound very awake. Be a good mother. Be a good father. Honey, he's crying. He's got to go get him right now. Oh, yeah, go get him. I love you, though. I'm going to go tomorrow night. I have to wake up early. Hey, buddy, it's OK. It's OK. I got you. I got you. Come here, buddy. Come here. I got you. Yeah, mommy's not a good woman. No. It's a bad B-I-T-C-H, your mommy. Come here. Come here, fella. Huh? What Bill seems to have forgotten is that we have a baby monitor in Duke's room. Therefore, we can hear every cry, every movement, every insult, apparently, loud and clear. Come here, fella. Come here. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Mommy, not so sure. She can't get her lazy butt out of bed before it fell out. I know. Rancic. Mommy's a lazy bone. She's a lazy bone. Please don't tell my baby that. Come on, we're gonna get a bottle. Here we go. How'd it go? That went great. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the help. How'd you get him down You're so beautifully? Well, you know, I sang a little song, honey. Mm. Mm -hmm. Taught him about the way of life. Mm. I bet you did. I bet you did. So tired, man. Holy smokes. How many times a night is he getting up? We're heading in the wrong direction. It always happens. Oh, I mean, we were doing so well there. We thought we were out of the woods. And then last night he got up three times. Yeah, Cheers, guys. Let's do a big toast. Salute. So Pam Cole and Greg having another baby. Yay! The and then to you guys having another one. Right. I have one at the same at time. At the same time. Yeah. So we could be up at four in the morning together. Mm. We're calling each other. That'll miserable. work. Let's do it tonight. Keys in the fishbowl. <laughs> All right. Nine months, we'll play Whose Baby Is It? Surprise. Um, all jokes aside, yeah. Sydney's two. She's two. Are you guys thinking about having another kid? You know, we do talk about it. I think it's hard. It's hard. And what about you guys? I think, I think we'll, we, we will. We, we talk about it during the day, and then at night we mix the idea. <laughs> I got, and last night I came back at 3 in the morning right. and said, he's going to be an only child. But how far apart do you want them? Ideally, a year and a half, two years. We've got a lot of negotiating to do before that even happens. Negotiating, Rancic, really? That's right. We agreed, before we have more kids, we'll be living in Chicago full time. Want to go to Dad Dad? Come here, buddy. Dad Dad. Have you guys done any sort of like parenting classes or mommy and me or? No. When do I do that? Now. It's a good idea. You should do that, honey. Hmm. But I'm just warning you, you sit in a circle and you sing like annoying songs too. I want to do that. Here's to baby number two for all of us, maybe. Here's to twins. Triplets. <laughs> so, yeah, what are we doing, you know? We're gonna do a great cat eye <laughs> for the gym. <laughs> yeah. Can I be honest? I always wear makeup to the gym. I would never be caught dead without so a skin. You do. My schedule is super tight today because I have a big photo shoot for an athletic apparel company. And then as soon as that is over, I've got to take Duke to his first mommy and me class. Okay, let's go. Keep eye contact with camera. It's very nice. Your arms look awesome. Oh my god, it's so pretty, Jean. Yeah, beautiful. Uh-huh. And so Yeah. Good. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm good, but my photo shoot is running a little long, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick Duke up and get him to the Mommy and Me class before it starts. All right, don't panic. Not a big deal. I'll pick up Duke, and I'll drop him off at Mommy and Me. You are a lifesaver, honey. I love you. All right, I love you, too. OK, bye-bye. Oh, look at that light. Go. Great. Can you go into a profile um, lunch? Then? There you go. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Wow. This photo shoot is taking so much longer than I expected, and at this rate, I'm definitely gonna miss at least a part of the Mommy and Me class, which really sucks. Hi, the camera, beautiful. 
All right, let's get her changed. Next outfit. Let's go. Next outfit. Hey, guys. Hi. 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 <laughs> I am just dropping him off. My wife should be here momentarily. Okay. Obviously, I'm not a mommy. <laughs> but it's going to be Daddy and Me Too. It's OK. Um, well, but the class is called Mommy and Me. I think we want to honor the integrity of the course here. You guys want to start? I don't want to hold things up. You want to do one exercise with us? All right, all right. Juliana should be here any minute. That's great. All right, big boy. You know, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised that Juliana isn't here. It's the old Italian time that she runs on. But I want to get this thing rolling, and I want to hold Duke up from his first class so I can take over for a song or two, and then Juliana's going to have to carry the baton. Well, we're going to have to teach you a whole bunch of things. You ready? Yeah. Um, who knows the song if you're happy and you know it? You do? I do. You do? OK, uh, no, I can it's wing OK. It. I can wing it. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm inventing a new song. If you're uncomfortable and you know it, raise your hand. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray. <laughs> hooray! Good job, everybody. Mommy will be here soon, my friend. Mina. Yeah. What time did they say we were going to be done? There was not a wrap time. Okay, here's the problem. I'm supposed to go to Mommy and Me. I mean, I thought we would be done earlier, but I mean, we still have two looks. I'm not going to make it before the class ends, am I? No way. So what do we do? I got to figure this out. Let me call Bill. Hello. I'm at Mommy and Me. And you're not here. Oh, God. <laughs> Get here. Code red. Here's the deal. There was some weather issues. It was very cold outside, so it was taking us quite a while to get the shot. But we still have three more shots left. I just don't think I'm going to make it, honey. So I know G really wanted to be with Duke, but she's not here. And this is not really my territory. I'm not exactly comfortable with the Mommy and Me class. It's called Mommy and Me for a reason. What should I do? Should I just leave the shoot? You know, you made a work commitment and you got to keep your word. I get it. But you owe me one big time. You going to remember this forever. You're an amazing dad. Wow. God you're bless. Father of the year. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. Love you. Love you. Bye. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. You want to do another song? Yeah. Should we do another song? Let's do um, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Hey. Well, well, well. <laughs> Don't. Mommy and me? We could start a new craze called Daddy and Me. No, we can't. I knew you were going to give me the hardest time after I missed Mommy and Me. Payback is a B-I-T-C-H. You've been using that word a lot lately. <laughs> I have. Sorry, boo-boo. I'm so sorry. A little embarrassing. <laughs> I thought the photo shoot would be over a lot quicker, but I just couldn't get out of there in time. And with traffic, there was no way I could make the class. Right. I'm sorry. Things happen. I'm sorry, boo-boo. I forgive. Are you going to go next week? Nope. <laughs> I do feel bad that I, you know, I couldn't be there. I mean, I wanted to be there. It was, you know, mommy and me. So I feel bad that I missed it. Like, do you think Duke will remember that I wasn't his first mommy and me? I hope so. Rancic. I hope so. Hey. Oh. Ooh. I'm kidding. I love you. Thank you for going to mommy. Yeah, anytime. It does show, though, that we're still just so crazy busy, even though we thought we'd slow down after the baby. And I, f I solved that problem. So have I. Oh. I get my mom coming in. Rancic, my mom's coming in. Well, I didn't think you were going to call Gail. Uh, when you no-show on me? Of course. The one woman I could count on my whole life, my mom. That is a low blow, babe. Well, if the shoe fits, or in your language, if the red bottom shoe fits. Well, in this case, and I never thought I would say this, the Louboutin does not fit. Gonna have a little grandma battle royale. A grandma off. <laughs> Got two built-in babysitters coming. Yep, you're dismissed. I kill you, Fangu. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah. We gotta get some work done. Hold on, let me just answer some emails, my friend. The grandmas are coming in tomorrow, but today, since Bill is in Chicago on business, I am on Duke duty. Okay, good job, Duke. We got through one important email without hitting any funny buttons. Oh, hold on. Hello. Hey, Sarah. We got to gear up for uh, award season, huh? Yeah, it's coming up, and this year it's crazy because every show is pretty much back to back. With only one weekend in between, so. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be like non stop for two months. When's the first fitting? Do we know? Actually, I have to talk to Monica about that. I think she's been doing the polls already. Maybe after news one day this week, or maybe during one of your breaks. Hello? Okay, perfect. We've never had an award season with a baby, though, so it's going to be interesting. Right, Duke? Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. I wanted to get a baby Duke text. Baby Duke Tuck, we can borrow Seacrest Tux. We can borrow Ryan's Tux. All right, love you, Sarah. I'll see you, uh, I'll see you at work. Bye. Bye. Yay. Hi. Hi, Duke. He sleep all day long. Yes, he sleep. You ready for uh, get up? I'm ready to get up yeah. all night long. <laughs> Anytime I'm called, I'm ready. That's what okay. I'm here for. Let me see. Let me see. What's the matter? Are you gonna jump real high? <gasps> jump real high? Guess who's Hi. home? Guess Hi. who's home? Even though Mama Depandi and Gail are here to help out with Duke, I still want to be with him every second of the day. When I'm at work, I miss him so much, especially when things run really late like they did today. Guess who's here? Hi, Kiki. It's Mama. He's been I jumping like the jack in the box. You are the, why are you the cutest little guy? Are you a little jumping bean? You. you know what he does too is um, he likes to go. <gasps> Whoa! Come on. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> he used to do that with me, Mom, remember? <laughs> That's why my head's so funny. <laughs> That's why it's got a funny shape, Googie. Huh. Okay. So it was good enough for me, but too dangerous for Duke? Okay. Thanks, Mama DePandy. Glad to know you care. See, see, that's what I told you. See, she used to do that with me. See, Mom, did she not just tell me not to do that and now you're she doing it? She did, yeah, she did. Hi, Mama. <laughs> see if you'll come to me, Anna. Will you come? Will you come? Will you come? Yeah. Reach out, oh. reach out. Huh? Uh, can I hold him? I wake up do you remember the time I caught, I was I was babysitting Duke and, and you called me and I didn't pick up the phone? Uh, yes. And you were all worried. I remember. <laughs> We were and about Billy to do a said, speech. Billy said she took him off to Mexico. I think I'm starting to rethink the nonas as nannies idea for a second because I can't even hold my own child for one second in their presence. Did yes. you? Did I take you off to Mexico and left you? Can I please see the baby? You two are, you know what you are? Yeah. You're baby hogs, the two of you. I am. Kissing I am a terrible baby, baby hog. Yeah. Baby hog. You want to go to your grandma or your mommy? Uh, okay, you want to go to your baby grandma or your mommy? Huh. You know what my son-in-laws used to say huh. when they'd bring the baby over and they would hand him to me? They'd say, but don't go too far. Mm. Because once I had the baby, they never saw me again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bill is yeah. a baby hog. I always tweet pictures. And everyone always goes, why is Bill always with the baby and you're never with the baby? Yeah. Because he's always holding the baby. And what? Yeah. Now I know where he gets it from. <laughs> are, you, are you taking my nose? Are you grabbing Grandma Gail's <laughs> nose? <laughs> All right, baby hogs or not, they're crazy about Duke and he's crazy about them and that's all that matters. Mama. Oh, he knows his mommy. Mama. Mama. What if, um, you know, because we don't have a nanny right now. I know. You know, so maybe we're thinking maybe the two of you could alternate month to month. No. No. Do you move to LA? <laughs> Thanks, grannies. Not, no. No. <laughs> You hear this, Duke? We don't think that's Very funny. funny. Very Duke, funny. Duke, do you think that's funny? Yeah. Only VCP. Yeah. Not living. <laughs> Not living. Not living. Right. Listen to this. So we got a busy okay. schedule. Can we have to I go over a couple you? of key we have dates. We a lot of key dates. Okay. First of all, uh, it's it's Laura Rubin. I got to take this. Okay. Laura Rubin. Hi, Dale. How are you? So, 
Where are you? I'm at the RPM Italian meeting with my wonderful assistant and oh, sister. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Second you're done, which I hope is in two minutes, we have to come look at this house. What house? There's a house that's going to go on the market next week. And you know, it's amazing. Really? Amazing. And it's on Bellevue, three doors down from where you used to live. Oh my god. Wow, honey. Oh, yep. Yes. OMG, it looks wow. amazing. <gasps> We got an offer on the house. Bill, how would we say yes? We just moved into this house five seconds ago. Trust me when I say this. We will have other homes. You can't pass up an opportunity like this. Let's go. <laughs> I, was not, I was not intending on buying any real estate today. If you don't look at it this second, it will be gone the second it hits the market. Ay, ay, ay. To say this is not good timing is an understatement. We weren't planning on moving back to Chicago immediately. This house pops up. It's on a street that we've always dreamed of moving back to. It's our favorite street in the city. And when an opportunity comes, sometimes you got to just jump on it. You know, Julie and I were just talking, too. It's so funny that you called. We were just saying, when Duke goes to school, we want him to go to school here. We wish we still had the house on Bellevue because it would have been perfect to raise the little guy. Uh, I could be over there within the next couple of hours. Okay, so I'll call Deborah and we'll set it up. Yeah, don't okay. let any, don't let anyone else look at it until I get there. I'll see what I can do. With it. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Th right. Thanks, Laura. Nice thanks. Bye bye. That's awesome. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. The Rancics might be moving again. I say that too often. I, you, I can't even believe how often you say it. Kristen Cavallari, how lovely to see you Hey, you're living in Chicago now? Yeah, we split our time between Nashville and Chicago. Oh my, and you bring the baby, oh the baby's how old now? He's almost eight months. Kristen Cavallari is our special guest on Fashion Police tonight. And not only do we have the connection of Chicago in common, the fact that her fiance is the Bears quarterback, but we also both have a baby. Don't go anywhere because Fashion of the Week is next. <laughs> Kristen. I'm good. How are you? Good. How's uh, how's the baby? He's good. We have to get the little guys together. Yeah, we have to. I've only been to Chicago when I come. We gotta go. Okay. Yeah, let me know. Wait, Kristen, is it hard traveling and being away? Yeah, I mean, I cried at the airport yesterday. I did. Do you guys think you want to have another one? Yeah. You do, right? Like, you want to have them close enough? Yeah. I'm not quite ready yet, but I'm like getting close, you know? Honestly, I, I, I thought everything was so hard and I didn't even carry and right. breastfeed and go through all and those it's still, emotions. It's a lot. No, but, but it's, anyway. it's emotionally a lot. It's it's emotional. getting ready for a baby. Sometimes it's just really nice to talk to another mother. And with Kristen, we're both trying to balance work and travel, having a baby, trying to be good moms. It just feels like this is a universal feeling with being a working mom. Kristen, thank you. Thank you, you thank guys. You. Yes. Yes. This is Bill. Hi, Hi Deborah Bayless. Nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. And Peter. This is my team. Hi, Deborah. Nice Peter. to meet you. Hi. And Bert. And Bert. Deborah, the how are you doing? Lovely to meet you. So come on in. Today, I really didn't expect to be shopping for a house, but when a house comes up on Bellevue, you got to take a look at it. Bert and Peter and I had a few things we were going to do later today, so I figured I'd bring them along. So this is a it. Beautiful home. Wow. This this place is huge. I got to say, incredible. This is great. All right, let's take a look. This is a great it? dining room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The wallpaper is hand painted silk and it's original, so I love it. But hopefully you'll be able to combine some type of kitchen family room too. Well, let's look at it. Right. Yeah. The kitchen obviously was updated. So the kitchen seems a little a little narrow to me. I mean, you can make it wider, and the thing is, it's just you know it's cut off from the rest of the living. Mm -hmm. Open it. Yeah, exactly. Make it a more yeah. open plan. You got your work cut out for you here, yeah. Mr. Harland. Well, you do. I can draw it, but you got to build it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we go take a look upstairs right, and you go. can see that, that space. So on this level, they have um, the family kind of library. Bill, wait till you office. see the width oh here. Oh, my god. This is huge. Look at these windows. 
draws in some good light with these large windows. So We're gonna continue. Come yeah, come on this way. So upstairs you'll see there are three bedrooms. What a sweet room. Wow, I think Duke would like this. I think he would definitely uh, would like growing Duke. up here. Well, this would be your master bed. But right would you make this master. all okay, master up here? I would do master bed there. Right. Closets and massive bathroom. Right. You always do this to me, Ruben. <laughs> That's my job, Bill. <laughs> it is an absolute perfect house. I see the potential already. I've already got this whole place mapped out in my mind. I'm in love with the house. The question is, will Juliana be in love with the house? I mean, listen, these houses don't come up that often. I mean, literally. No, you buy it or you lose it. I think from a long-term perspective, this is perfect. If you can get this one, I would jump on it, to be honest. I better call Juliana. All right, yeah, Let's you go. better. Just Thank tell you. her about all the stores on Oak Street. She can wave to the shoes from here. She knows, are you kidding? It cost me an Hermes bag last time we lived here. <laughs> Guess who's here? Mama. Who's gonna take you away from me? Me. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Hi, oh, no. You wanna go to mommy? Walk and bite. Walk and bite. Look at him. It's hard to stop him. Look at that. Look at him. He's bouncing up and down. It's unbelievable. He's got some break dancing <laughs> tendencies, I Excuse think. Excuse me. You know, mommy was a break dancer. Who? Me. I used to break dance in the sixth grade. You've really? seen me do the like TikTok and stuff, mm. right? No, I haven't. <laughs> I don't think I ever have. Really? Gail, you've never seen me break dance. Where would I have seen you break dance? You br break into break dancing? <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> you've never seen me do that move. Do hey. another one. Okay, I'll show you that. Ready? <laughs> look, look, look what your mommy's doing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, what's that? <laughs> no. Gail! <laughs> Gail's reaction to my break dancing was certainly unexpected. The fact that she wasn't impressed by my dance artistry came as a little bit of a shock. I mean, it's like I was born doing the TikTok. So I think, oh, anyway, my point What's of all of this yeah. is that I feel like he might have special Yes, balance. like the dancing gene or something. Boop. He's a cute little guy, isn't he? We want to have more, right? Don't you yeah. want to give Grandma oh, Gail yeah. a brother or Definitely. sister? Definitely. You got to talk to Bill, though, Gail, because Bill oh, is. Bill. You mean? Well, the last time I spoke to him, he said, "No more kids until we move to Chicago permanently." Yeah, he mentioned that before. You know, he wants to raise them in Chicago, and so do I. I keep telling him, but I mean, our jobs are here. You don't. You don't want to wait five or six years to have another baby. I know. Yeah. yeah. Ideally, I would like a year and a half, two years. Yeah. Well, we gotta convince Daddy, huh, buddy? Yeah. I hope that Gail can have some influence over Bill so that we can get things moving before we go to Chicago. Because bottom line is, Duke's so cute, he deserves a little brother or sister. He needs a little friend. He's any good baby. So, he looks like Bill. You think so? I wanted him to look like Bill, not my side of the family. Right? My side of the family has funny heads. <laughs> Hi. Welcome home from Chicago, honey. It was I'm good to be you. in Chicago. Was it? Got a lot to talk about. Oh, I mean, I know you haven't seen him in a while since you've been off working, but I was working too just now, and I see the baby. <laughs> honey, I've been getting a lot of tweets. I'm dead serious. People are referring to you on Twitter, and I just feel like you need to know this because I love you as a baby hug. That is true. You mean you don't even want to fight this? No. I will take that moniker. So much for uh, getting you to stop baby hogging. I love my son. What can I say? I love my son, too. Then you got to fight for it. You do? That's how it works in this house. Hey, buddy. Can you please see the baby? Uh, yeah. Hey, let's make, let's just show how mommy how we make bread. Ready? He, I get him laughing. Watch this. We roll the dough. We roll the dough. Then we put the raisins in the bread and the raisins and the bread and the raisins and the bread. And more raisins and the bread and more raisins and the bread. And then we give you to mommy. Yay. Ready? One, two. Oh, hello. Well, hello. Hi. Hi, I love you 
too. Um, so anyway, I got to fill you in on Chicago. Fill me in. Tell me everything. So you remember that house I told you about, honey? <laughs> Como se dice in Italiano? Perfetto. Really? Perfect. Well, okay. All right. Is he hungry, boy? No. Just eat. Uh-oh. Come on. All right. Is it NAP time for you, buddy? Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm going to put you down for a little nap, my friend. Come on. It does seem like Bill really loves this house. And I know ultimately we are going to move to Chicago. But the fact is I'm not ready to pack up and make Chicago my permanent home quite yet. Not to mention I have years on my contract and I have to be in L.A. for my work. Okay. Um, so anyway, yes. the house is great. It's a couple doors down from our old house. It's got amazing character. It has amazing potential. I mean, I think it's, it's a place where we could grow old together. So is this. So what you're saying is you want to buy a new house in Chicago. Well, I'm saying that it's a great home. I think you're going to love it. So you're asking me to move to Chicago permanently. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just posing that this is a potential home that we could grow old in. Now, I'm saying that I would like to do this with you. I just think yeah, you should take a look at it. Everything that you loved about that street is still there. Why don't we do this? We'll go to Chicago in a few weeks and we'll go check it out. I don't want it to disappear. Right. Laura Rubin. Hi, Joe. Oh, how convenient that Laura Rubin calls right in the middle of this conversation. You think I planned this? It's a sign. Honey, I was not born yesterday. It was a sign. Juliana just walked in the door and I was telling her about the home that we looked at. Right, this is a special one. I mean, Laura, hi Laura, I love that location. It's amazing. You know, I'm obsessed with that street. You know, I just, I haven't seen it. So I was telling Bill, you know, we'll set up a trip in the next few weeks, and if we can do a showing, that would be great. Well, guess what? What? You're not the only one who loves it. There's somebody in particular who I think is going to go forward on it, and if you do want it, something's gonna have to happen really quickly. So I think we need to make a move, and I think we need to move now. Okay. All right, thanks, Laura. Bye, Laura. Bye. Talk to you guys Bye. later. Thank you. Bye. When you find a house this great, there's going to be a lot of interest. It's a hot commodity. Yeah, but you understand that I still am obliged to be in Los Angeles for work for years to come, right? I understand the timing's tough, but we need to try to make this happen. When you find the perfect house on the perfect street in the best city in the world, you got to take a little risk. Well, if we don't make a move on this, it's going to be gone. I know it's not perfect timing because it's a little sooner than we wanted, but it's gonna take me a long time to redo it and gut it and renovate the house. So we either buy it and stretch ourselves a little bit or we do nothing and we lose it. Fine, let's go look at it and we'll take it from there. I have a feeling you're gonna fall in love. I hope I do. What's gonna happen with you in the house is what happened with you and I. It was love at first sight. Okay, for me, not you, you told me later one time when we were drinking. Love at third sight. Well, here's to Chicago, baby. Let's look at it first. I love you. Love you too. Knock, knock. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm you look good. so pretty. Thank you. You look so pretty. Thanks. I love the straight hair. I love Beth, but she is one of my bosses. So whenever I get called into her office, I can't help but feel like I'm going to see the principal. You know, it's kind of scary. Uh, what's going on? You notice I have this little schematic in front of me? Yes. Um, we're going to be moving you, your office. Really? Yeah. Good or bad? I think you'll be pleased. <laughs> Good. Um, let me see. You're here now in this little box? Yes. You're going to go over here to this big box. Oh, that looks approximately four times larger <laughs> than my little box. That's exactly what it is. And you know what? Well deserved. It, it's really in recognition of your role on the show your value to the network, oh, the thanks. fact that you've been here for, what, 10 years? Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. time. And I know that you'd like to be able to bring little maybe Baby Duke in here sometime. Yes. And it's so much more room. You could build a whole other nursery in there, honestly. Wow, this is a working mom's dream. Of course, just when I get my new office, Bill's talking about moving to Chicago.
I recognize that. Is that Seacrest's old that office? That is Seacrest's old office. That's all you had to say. <laughs> you should have just started. You buried the lead. I buried Beth. the lead. I buried the lead. You know, it all comes around. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to email him. <laughs> Make it your own. Oh, I will. Okay. All his furniture. It's probably very small anyway. <laughs> just kidding. Don't, See you later. don't tell him I said that. Okay. Bye. Our old house, and there's our new house. Is this it? There she is. Wow, that's beautiful. Isn't that nice? It's really nice. Yeah. Today is a big day in the annals of B&G. g, g &B, but go on. Well, regardless, uh -huh. we're seeing the house that I'm pretty confident we're gonna be raising our son Duke. Okay, can you slow your roll, Rancic? I haven't seen the house yet, okay? Hi! Hi, how are you? Good Great. to see you. Duke is here! Hi, Duke! Hi, Laura! Good, how are you? Great to see you. Come on in. I'm so excited to see you. It's gorgeous. Look at the walls in here. The walls are beautiful. I know. So this is this is going to be obviously the family room. These windows are gorgeous. Ceiling height, the windows. Look at this original woodwork here. Let's walk around. So this is going to be... You're going to lengthen the house? Technically, you're probably standing in the kitchen right here. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have a big kitchen and you want a breakfast area. Okay. Like a breakfast TV room off the kitchen. Right, um, there's a lot of planning's been done. <laughs> for someone whose wife has not seen a home yet. Well, you have final approval. Oh, thank you. You seem to be more emotionally invested in this house than the past house has. Listen, before we've had places in Chicago and LA and we were always splitting our time between both cities. This is a house that we can raise our children in. It's the house. This is it. That's the kids' area back there. We're going to split it into two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bathroom for if we have another baby, which we may. So this is the master suite, honey. OK, the top floor is all master. Bedroom here, okay. right? And okay. then you're going to come back. Now I'm going to have another staircase that's going to go up to a little exercise area okay. and a bonus closet. What? <laughs> Do you want me to drop the baby? Whoa! I'm <laughs> just kidding. Kiki, did you hear that? Mommy's dreams are coming true. And that is it. Let's take a minute and chat about it. All joking about a bonus closet aside. I'm not joking. I've got a bonus closet for you that will knock your socks off. Seriously, though, what are we going to do about our work? I just got a new office with a nursery space. I can't just up and leave my job. Of course, this doesn't mean we're going to have to move tomorrow. There's still a ton of work that needs to be done on the sets. So, obviously, if you don't like it, we don't have to do it. I mean, certainly I can I can just do this as an investment or we can make it into apartments. Um, How do you feel? <clears throat> I, I mean, I think it's beautiful. And obviously, from walking through it with you, you've put a lot of thought into the house. And that's no surprise. But buying this house is a huge decision. And I just don't know if it's the right thing for us right now, especially when my work's in LA. Right. It's got to be a, a team decision. You know, I just want to know from you, you do understand that I can't just pick up and move to Chicago right now, right? I do. But I still think we have to move ahead. OK. We've lived on the block. We've always missed it. We've always, for the last five years, we said, God, that house was so great. It was perfect. It was by the beach. We could walk everywhere. There was great schools in the neighborhood. Are you ready? I feel great about this house, okay. I will say. I'm excited to move to Chicago, and I just want to make sure that you understand we can't move yet. I know that, but we should still do this. I think this is going to be a place where we're going to have a lot of memories. Absolutely. And we're going to raise some good kids. I'm going to shoot a little video of you guys. Welcome. It's Duke's first time at the Let house. Let me shoot some video of you and Duke. You call me you? a baby hog. You shoot video of me. Absolutely. <laughs> Aw, Duke, Daddy's actually going to let me hold you. OK, you ready? Yes. So honey, tell us where we are right now. We are in Duke's future home, where Duke's going to grow up. Right, Duke? Mm -hmm. Yes, and his possible brothers and sisters. How do you feel about that, Kiki? Mm -hmm. Yeah? He's happy. Well, the Rancics are moving again. Does it mean that when we move into the house, we're going to have another kid? It's not exactly how it works. And on video, Daddy. You are saying that you're not going to sell this house in three months or six months that we're going to live here for decades. I am saying that we are going to live here until he goes to college. OK, you hear that, Duke? All right. All right, you hear it. 
cares then? All right, buddy. All right, you're going to go to college. University of Naples, Italy. No. What? Duke. Happy dance. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. All right, guys, welcome home. Welcome home. Yay! Quick. This season on Juliana and Bill. Let the games begin, boy. Do you think I can juggle big balls? No. We got a little problem here. Daddy's burning down the Trump Hotel. Dad, don't drink that. Do not drink that, Dad. Dad, his feet were in there. Surviving new motherhood? I am. You didn't warn me. Once we get the sleeping thing down, it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. When should we expect him to be going 12 straight? Uh, right now. 90% of it is the parents. We're doing a lot of stuff wrong. <laughs> Trying to balance it all is a lot. You got to start focusing on the future. And there is a part of me that thinks, should I just quit my career? Mm -hmm. I don't think the only child's going to work. I know. I, I know. think he needs some company. Soon. You said kids. Okay, I did. So is there any news or anything you want to share? Or? Are you ready to call Delphine? 